These uh, BMW uh, uh, 1200 RTs, I don't think are meant for going around these kind of race circuits. But she's doing me proud. She's doing me proud. Won't it start? Ah. Oh, boys, looks like I'm ringing the AA. So I'm going on. Well, good morning, happy people. Another cracker. Don't know what degrees we're at. I'll soon tell you. 21 degrees. And it's 10.30 in the morning. And we are just approaching the iconic bridge that is the Humber Bridge. Crossing over the River Humber and heading north today. What a structure this is. Fantastic. Yeah, so we're continuing on today on the uh, Days Out Tour. As we've not been able to tour this year, obviously, as I've said before, the Wales tour got cancelled because of damn COVID-19. So we are having uh, another day out. There's five of us today. Oh, what's this guy doing here? Look at this for a pink lid. Nice bike though, Royal Enfield. Started taking payments again at the booths. That was stopped for a long while. It had to be paid online. Obviously, everything, no contact with anybody. Cracking views. Yeah, I got a bit distracted uh, back there, going over the Umber Bridge. Kind of started talking and then uh, stopped. Yeah, the plan today, we're heading north. There's five of us, like I said, there's myself leading. We've got Muzzy behind me, ever present of course. Okay, Muzzy, we've got Russ. Deck couldn't make it today, he had other plans. But uh, we've got Norm with us. Anybody can remember Norm from uh, the Tan Hill run? He was with us on that one. Just coming into Wet Wang now. First protocol, first stop's going to be um, the Seaways Cafe at uh, Friday Thorpe. Yeah, we're now in Wet Wang. Quaint little village. On this beautiful day. Yeah, and after we've done um, Seaways Cafe at Friday Thorpe, we're uh, then going to head further north and we are going to visit Whitby. Stop off there, have a wander around, possibly fish and chips. What am I, who am I kidding? Possibly. <laughs> it will be fish and chips. Um, and then continuing on from uh, Whitby, I'm going to start the road home, coming south and uh, passing through Scarborough. Muzzy's always wanted to have a look at um, Oliver's Mount, particularly the uh, race track there. As uh, on non-race days, you're allowed to uh, go on and uh, ride it. So that's the plan. We're going to have a, a ride around the. Uh, racetrack at Oliver's Mount and hopefully if uh, everything goes to plan I have brought the drone and we'll be sending that up for a bit of an aerial view of Scarborough and Oliver's Mount racetrack from the sky I can't believe how busy it is. It's a Monday morning, why aren't they all at work? It's either Hull and that, you know, not Hull, but uh, on that road. It's busy, isn't it, there, isn't it? Up till carriageway, maybe probably 10 to 10 to
cold wing there. Yeah, nice little break there at uh, Seaways Cafe in Friday Thorpe. Not quite busy by the time we'd left. So now onwards to uh, Whitby. Just put the uh, little drift stealth on the top of me helmet pointing backwards. Hopefully you can see the guys behind me. Four comrades. Just been chatting with Knight, the new lad, and uh, going to send a new Kawasaki and uh, he only got it a couple of weeks ago. But loving it he says, loving it. Yeah, we're going to be riding through the uh, North Yorkshire Moors National Park shortly. Better road. Yeah, oh, look at this damn thing here. And then a modern version of it. There you go. Uh, what is it, another half a dozen miles up here and we'll be entering into the uh, North Yorkshire Moors which is quite beautiful as you will see it's coming through Pickering now oh my god just there, whoa, 25 degrees now lovely people this is the road now that we're stuck on for what 18 miles to Whitby Been past the sign there that we have just officially entered the North Yorkshire Moors. And it's just about right on the sat of an orb, so there's a massive patch of green which shows you that you've just entered into the uh, Yorkshire Moors National Park and its beauty. You won't be able to see them. Look at that view, happy people. Jesus. It's simply stunning. Got a bit of a hairpin coming up here. 12% gradient going down. Now you can see the paraglider as well. Oh, look at this round the corner. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Surrounded by heather. Beautiful trees. What more does a man want? Surrounded by this beauty. on this bridge, holy crap. That's come round this bend a bit too sharp, hasn't it? Big police aware sign on it. Gothland, left turn there. Where the famous uh, Heartbeat series is filmed up, obviously. Been there before. And it is absolutely beautiful. Got the old police car and the garage and the pub from the series. You're at the end of my favourite road. 
I don't care what anybody says, Britain's got some absolutely stunning places to ride through. This one's high up on the list. Bloody gorgeous. You are my favorite shade of rose. There in front of your people is Whitby. Welcome to Whitby. Thank you very much. I'm going to top up. There's some bloody traffic in there. It's going to be horrendous, man. I have to try and filter in and get through, but it's just an evil. Just bending long here, really. Don't you fancy some fish and chips are out? Yeah, is there one in Robin Hood's Bay? Oh, well, I don't know. Fish and chips, yeah. And no, I don't think there is. When me and Weff went camping there, we had to come into Whitby. Oh, yeah, I mean, if you get parked up with stuff and I'll have some up to eat, yeah. yeah, we can have a walk around, can't we? If it, even if it's even, I can keep my distance from people. It's even busy here, isn't it, filling up? I've done that to perfection. I don't know whether I've got enough lean on that, you know. Well, that was most enjoyable. Quick wander around uh, Whitby. Fish and chips, filled a corner. As far as two metre distance is concerned, not a lot of it going on. Yeah, busy, busy, busy. You'd think it was a bank holiday Monday, not just a box standard Monday. I think some people must still be on this furlough thing. This is one hell of a hill to get up. Bloody hell fire. Dracula up here somewhere. There he is, look. <laughs> yeah, we're going over the bridge here. Be able to see Whitby Arbor. Hopefully off it. Here we go. Lovely. 
We're now on our way to uh, Oliver's Mount. Heading back down the east coast. And it's just at the top of Scarborough, Oliver's Mount. Back in the North Yorkshire Moors. Cracking ride out this. Look at this curvy road, it's beautiful. degrees and it's uh, what time we're we on 20 past three in the afternoon now yeah that, that's on the course we're less than two miles away that's what we need sirens right happy people we're nearly at Oliver's Mount race course but by god getting through this lot has been unbelievable kids leaving school time I mean look at the well look at the traffic on the other side it's just mental I do hope this uh, little race course is open when we get there because we're all going to be very disappointed if it is closed here we are happy people just entering the race circuit now Leg there. Here we are, this is the starting line that we're just crossing over. Just going to go up here, turn round, and then do a little lap the other way around. Going round proper. Went round that way. Here we are. Where's pole position? That's where Clarky wants to be. I'm going to do a lap and then I'm going to go back round to where the mount is. Do you want to go first? the first hairpin. Up this hill. Under the bridge, round this bend, I believe, onto the straight. You're only supposed to do 30 along here, but uh, Muzzy's tootling along at 50. Not quite as fast as what the lads do when they're racing, but uh, Oliver's cut Cathy and Bear. Here's the actual mount itself. Well, on my second lap, I'm going to pull over and uh, hopefully fly the drone. Of course, it is two-way traffic, this, so you've got to watch out for anything that's coming. I've hopefully put on the screen which each bend is that we've gone round. 
got another hairpin coming up shortly here. Uh, BMW uh, uh, 1200RTs, I don't think I meant to go in around these kind of race circuits. But she's doing me proud, she's doing me proud. Coming down the hill again now. Rather steep incline here, and at the bottom is yet another hairpin. And then I think it's a race to the line then. This course is actually about... Um, Just under two and a half miles long. Oh, look at that view down there. Beautiful. Yeah. Now that little farmer's uh, pulling that I pulled in to turn round is also part of the course. Down here on the right, you, in the proper race, it's to slow them down, to go down there, round and uh, back up to the finish line. Just gonna take a picture. Smile. Oh. Smile. 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 I want to go around now, you know where the mount is? Yeah. I'm going to park up near there. I'll go for a cup of tea at that cafe. Let me sit on mine, because I'll want a picture. Yeah, are you going to stop at that cafe then? Well, I think that's what Mud wants to do. I want to go near that mount and fly the drone, hopefully. Oh, that monument. Yeah, so I'll park just near that if you guys want to go to that cafe. That's hell of a circuit, isn't it? I didn't know you could go on it any time. I didn't until Muzzy told me. Public road, though. Yeah, public road, isn't it? Oh, this is tight, this first one, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me a hairpin, that one. Yeah, me a hairpin, that's right. And that's Keen's Rise. Yeah. Going up that way. Well, I'm going to do a little video of this. We normally go and stand, there's a bridge where we went under at the top. Where you go right and then left, we go and stand where that bridge is. Cause I bet you get a cracking view from there. And go straight home. Okay. Yeah. But there. Uh, that's where, where they closed it. You know when they closed it? Yeah. Because some riders hit each other and they went through that, that hedge right in front of you at the top of that rise and into the crowd. Yeah. That's why they shut it. Do they have airbags then on race day or something? Very few. Bloody hell. What? Have airbags? You'd have thought they'd have had airbags. There's, a, there's one on the tree on up tree. there, yeah. <laughs> Big pad on a tree. <laughs> Barry Sheen, dedicated to the memory of Barry Sheen, MBE, a supporter and friend of Oliver's Mount throughout his racing career. Unveiled in 2003 by the Duke of York, Duke of Edinburgh. Well, there you go, folks. You've just done a lap of uh, Oliver's Mount Road Circuit. Right, I'll go get drone rigged up. See you in a bit.
Yeah, I'm going to go up the park now near the uh, actual monument. Got this first hairpin. This is the Mia hairpin, so Nigel's just told me. It's very tight. And it's a sink first gear jobby, that one. How are you going to the cafe? Yeah, I think so. There's Oliver's Mount. And then if you turn around and look over Scarborough. Wowzy, what a view. What a view. Right up high over Scarborough. Don't know whether I need to send the drone out when it's like this. Get a good enough view like that. Whose alarm was that? Mine. Are you stealing it? How do you mean? Battery going in there. I don't know. Sounds like it. Well, stop it. Try setting it again. Yeah. What do you do to that? Well, how do you set it normally? No oh, idea. Have a... Oh, have you never done it before? No. Yeah. Well, oh, that's handy, isn't it? Hey, it's police. <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you, if you have it on all the way home, we'll get past everybody, they'll think it's an ambulance. Let's hope it stops it not. Uh, oh. oh, bloody hell. See the bike will start, that might hurt. Yeah, start the bike, it might automatically cut it out. Yeah. <coughs> start it? Yeah. Won't it start? Ah. Have you ever had it before? Do you use your alarm? Huh? Do you use your alarm? No, not you. Obviously, when the alarm's going off, it deactivates the bike, doesn't it? Yeah. It'll have its, uh... Well, it's stopping it now, look. Oh, boys, looks like I'm ringing the AA. That's how I'm getting on. Well, if you stand it up... That's where I'm thinking, you know, it's right. No, because you said it was leaning over quite a way. If you stand it up... Well, I can push it up to there, if you like. Push it up to somewhere a bit level, Russ, and sit on it and get your lock off. I've got some tools, Russ. Yeah, I've got... I've... There's alarms going on. This is bike there. I don't know why. It's because of the mast. 
Is that what it is? If you go that way, past the cafe, about 200 metres, it'll start. All right, cheers, oh, thanks, man. It's the mast. Because of the mast. Honestly? Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. said. It's a certain bike. Turn oh. round, push you that way, go past the cafe, downhill. He's only there, look, was. Well, I wouldn't have believed that. So if you turn it round, we'll give you a push and just wheel it round. Well, well, I'm only my bike. He says it only happens with cheap bikes. Like for us. He says the cheap shitty bikes <laughs> have alarms for <laughs> It's only them posh sods with alarms that it affects. Well, we'll see. I hope he's right. I think he will be, he's yeah. It's obviously it's happened some other times, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right, he knows. Right, you, you're all going to follow me, aren't you, this way? No, we're off home. Well, I am. <laughs> I can't think where about the bottom is. Hey, look, he was here, wasn't he? Yeah. You could have been, you could have, I'd have taken you back on back of me, mate, if you'd have wanted to leave it here. For a small fee. <laughs> There's all the summit sounds we're rusting. I'm going to put this in this video. Oh, yeah. Can you get that drone out again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You might be out of wheel. I'll have to keep there. going right the way around there. Yeah. Put it in gear and jump it. Well, it won't be a. Yeah, out with the boys, if we didn't have a little bit of drama, would it? Let's hope his bike starts around here, away from this mast that, f f that supposedly affects... Has it started? Yeah. Further around here, Steve, I'm that map. Look at me. I mean, used all my battery up at this rate, starting, stopping, starting, stopping. That was going to have a. Oh, bugger. All right. I turned it on. I had it on. It's kill switch, and I turn it on the off of the kill switch on, and then turn it on again, and the light come on, and then you try it again and it come on. Right, I thought I was going to make a few quid charging you for a pillion ride. I can't leave it, can I? Hey? I can't leave it. No. Stay no. here, ring AA. Or ever whatever the breakdown is with a bank. Right, anyway, I'm ready, so... It's up this way. Panic over. Well, that was eventful. So it turns out that the mast near the cafe on uh, Oliver's Mount Racecourse is a big mast and it gives off electrical pulses or something and it can affect motorbikes' alarms. So anybody watching this and uh, thinking of going to Oliver's Mount, if you park your bike up at the cafe or anywhere near it and the alarm keeps going off, you have to freewheel or get it pushed away from that mast far enough for it not to affect your alarm frequency look at that Russ because I don't think it's downhill all the way home <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was going to fire up 
Well, I didn't. When he got away, 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 and I thought, it's still not going. What's going on here? No wonder I'm grey. <laughs> well, happy people. That's about it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed riding with us. Uh, it's just been a little tour. It's going to be, when we get home, it'll have just been under, just under 200 miles round trip into the uh, North Yorkshire Moors via Friday Thorpe, Seaways Cafe, Whitby, rounding up with Oliver's Mount Race Course. So yeah, thanks ever so much for watching everybody. If you've not done already, please subscribe. And also, please like, it, it does help the channel big style if you just tick that like box. So yeah, until next time, happy people. Adios for now.